One of the most dangerous things police officers do every day is drive a police car. More police officers are killed every year inside of a vehicle than the, by guns or knives or any other assault. Recognizing that, the police department here in Edmond has ensured that we get the highest level of training on everything from the most basic to the most advanced skills, and we do it annually, and that's the Edmond way. I just got this guy on radar, 60 in a 40 mile an hour zone, uh, so I've stopped him on traffic and we're going to go talk to him. Edmond on pursuit westbound on foot. We drive a police car every day of our career. Every day that, that we're at work, we're driving. We recognize the fact that that eight hours of, of driving on the road is very dangerous at times, and uh, we want to make sure that our officers are as highly trained as they can be. During our driver training, Edmond police officers are uh, tested and evaluated on every all skills from basic, from backing and steering to advanced skills like cornering at high speeds and being able to multitask, talking on the radio while doing all those tasks. Police officers at Edmond are trained precision drivers and we want them to be as competent in, in the abilities as they can be. Precision driving is, is it's the exact, we're at the tip of the spear whenever we're driving and, and we want to make sure that every officer, their skill level is so high that, that whenever they're multitasking and other things come up while driving that they're able to handle them. Part of uh, the Edmund Way is we, we train our own. So we have nationally and state recognized driving instructors here within our own department and we ensure that those people have the highest standards so that way we can impart those high standards to the rest of the agency. Every time that we can get behind the wheel of the car and do it safely, we're saving lives. There's a lot going through your mind, obviously, depending on how the pursuit begins, but, but um, you're trying to fight your physical emotions down. You're trying to make sure that you don't get too excited and that you uh, are able to stay focused on the task at hand. But uh, obviously, we want, don't want to be hyper-focused on just the, the violator's vehicle. We have to make sure that we're um, keeping our head up and watching everything ar around us. The goal of a pursuit is to end it as quickly as we can and in the safest manner possible. My responsibility, my primary responsibility when driving that car is the safety of the other motoring public. We have several techniques available to us that the officers are trained on tactical vehicle intervention for stopping a pursuit, also for the uh, stop sticks, spike strips that we can throw in front of the violators' vehicles. Also, a supervisor can call a pursuit off if they feel it's necessary, and the ultimate responsibility is to the police officer. They can always call the pursuit off anytime they wish to if they think that the danger level is too high. Uh, with that being said, though, we always have the tag information. Every car has a video camera inside of it. And getting away from the radio and the camera is very difficult to do. The pursuit just ended. Uh, the bad guy's in custody, and we're really lucky nobody was injured or hurt out here. Uh, these pursuits can get really dangerous, and, and uh, just just happy that we're able to get him into custody and, and, and in as safe a manner as possible. He's lucky that he's leaving in the backseat of a police car instead of an ambulance or even something worse. When police officers come to work every day, we have no idea what we're going to face. It could be a slow day, and the next very next car you pull over could be the one that tries to run from you, and you're involved in a high-speed pursuit. And that's the reason we have to train on these techniques and stay current, so that way we can make sure that we are as safe as possible and that we try and end these pursuits in the safest manner possible. For those people who are pulled over and they're thinking about running, it's never a good idea. We have radios and computers and cameras that are recording all of your information from the second we, we pull behind you, and that's the type of stuff that you can't get away from. You're not trained to drive under these conditions. The high speed and the, and the rapidly evolving situations, you're not trained for those, and that's where danger can happen. For those people who see or hear a pursuit coming, always pull immediately to the right of the road and stop. Stop your vehicle because we don't want to have to try and predict your actions at the same time that we're trying to uh, pursue the violator. This video was produced by the Edmond Police Department and the COPS Leadership Council. To learn more about the Leadership Council and its partnership with the Edmond Police Department, please visit edmondpd.com or call 359-4440.